Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and today I'm back to show you um, the fuse tool that I got. I did say in the other video that I had a one coming and I would show you when I got it. Um, so I mentioned it on my Facebook group and a lot of people said they were keen to see um, a demo of it because a lot of people have it, haven't used it etc. So <clears throat> I've got mine on and I've had it on for about half an hour now. So that's the first thing I would say. Um, have it on for at least half an hour. I've found you can have problems if you don't have it on for about half an hour. So you get this little ruler with it as well, which you can run your fuse tool down. But to be honest, I've just been using um, just a normal metal ruler. Don't use plastic, obviously, because it'll melt it. So I've already made some things, so I just want to show you some examples. <clears throat> so the first thing I made was this really sweet little shake tag, okay? Um, and I just obviously put little bits and bobs in it a little sentiment that I just pegged on and I also put a eyelet in that one so that was really easy that was the first thing I did with it um, then I made just a little tag here with a, a little journaling card and again I put some more little sequins in and basically that's what the fuel tool does it just seals the plastic you can see them little lines along there so that's what it does so I made that then I made my own little sweet bags which I thought oh that's a good idea great if you want to gift them or you want to have little craft fairs you could even put little sequins in and stuff so I made one of them well actually I didn't I made two of them two little sweet bags then I made a little square one which I just put a little topper on okay then I think this was just a bit of an experiment this was a star and all I did was I used a metal die that I put onto the plastic and I just went round it with the fuse tool so you can actually use your dies to help you get you know the shapes all right then you can make pockets for your stamps I made this for a stamp set that I've got so that's a great idea to keep your stamps in and um, that was another little sweet bag that I made um, oh yes, and I also made a type of little keyring thing, a little shaker, and I just put the little sentiment inside with the little beads, uh, put an eyelet in, and then I just put a little keychain on. And I did two lines of fusing, which I think looks quite pretty because it gives it a kind of a stitched effect. So they'd be great to make for people. And this last one. Oh my god, this is just so cute. It's tiny, but what it's meant to be is a little mini kind of pocket letter thing that people make for, you know, pen pals, etc. And it's really small. What does it measure? It measures three and three quarter inches by four and three quarter. And the little pockets are one and a quarter inches by one and a half inches so it's tiny but I just made that from one from the two sheets of plastic and I just measured and then scored and then I took um, fused it then I turned it over and I just took a little um, a little craft knife and I just slit little um, sections in the back to make the little pockets but how adorable is that and then if you wanted to you could punch two little holes in but I just think that's lovely and it's just got little sequins little paper clip die that I've got some uh, little bits and pieces that is so sweet so that's what I've been making and um, what do I think of this I think it's really good 
Um, I do have a glass mat which I find it works really well on the glass mat. I know some people use like thick chipboard or something because I know some people say they've had problems with the wheel turning. The only time I had problems with the wheel turning was I tried it on lots of things um, and you know, <coughs> excuse me, cellophane bags like what you put your cards in or whatever it doesn't really work on them. I think it's because it's so thin. It did in places and then in other places it was missing, like it, the wheel wasn't turning and then it was just creating a straight line which was just popping apart afterwards. So I didn't have any luck with it, work, with it on cellophane card bags. So what I find it works really well on is just like normal page protectors you know like 12 by 12 page protectors and also these which is just normal um what what we you get in you know will cause or staples which puts a4 paper in like binders um, and that is what i made the little sweet bags out of which was them and obviously they're very inexpensive you can get like a pack of 20 <clears throat> 20 25 for a pound or something um these are not too bad the thickness but obviously i think the thicker they are the better it'll be so these were just from my local wilco um and that's what i found works best so what we're going to do today is this was another little idea i had i've got two little tea bags all right and then i've got a spare bit of the plastic page protector it's already sealed on one side so i don't need to worry about that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of the tea bags and i'm going to pop it right in the corner okay because it's already sealed the top and the side if it wasn't i would just go ahead and seal it so i'm happy with that there so i'm then going to take the ruler and i'm going to fuse another line because i need to create a little bag type of thing so and then what I want to do as well is actually I want to have two little tea bags in so I need to leave a gap enough where I can fuse above the tea bag so I think what I'll do is I will fuse above the tea bag first so just take your tool and just you've got to press quite firmly and just go along and that's it can you see that there that has created that seal line all the way along so I've sealed that so now what, what we can do is pop our other little tea bag in which will go to there okay and then I'm not going to seal top bit well I don't have to because I'm gonna have make a little topper for it so now we need to seal the sides of the bag so I'm gonna get a, <coughs> a bigger ruler <coughs> and we're gonna seal along so our tea bags don't fall out and so it's nice and even and then I'm just going to take the fuse again and I'm just going to run it all the way along from top to bottom. Can you see that there? So now we've created our own little kind of pocket bag. All right. And then I think what I'll do is I will actually seal the top so they can't come out might see it a bit further up here okay there we go and then 
what I'm going to do is just cut beside the seal line, not too close and definitely don't cut on it or it will just open. So now <clears throat> we've got our own groovy little bag that we could gift or whatever we want to do. So before we start with this, um, it comes with a little stand as well. Now this is quite annoying really, I don't know why, but apparently um, the people in the UK have a different fuse to say someone who is in America. There is a little silver kind of ring missing from this and that is what effectively holds this in the middle. Now it does still sit on that like that, but why should we not get the right one when we pay the same money? So I don't know what's going on there, but it's not right really. We, we, I mean, this little silver kind of ring sits up there and it obviously stops this from dropping down because you need it because, you know, you can easily burn your fingers. If it drops, it's going to melt stuff. I found it does hold on there, but it has fell off a couple of times. So you've got to be careful. So I don't really know why um, they haven't rectified that for people outside of the US. So that's that rant over with. Now I've got my little tea bag pouch. I've got a piece of scrap DSP and I want to just make a kind of a little topper thing here. So I'm just going to push that tea bag down. And this measures, well, it's in centimetres, this one. So it's going to have to be eight centimetres. 8 centimetres long and roughly about 4 centimetres. So 8 by 4 centimetres I'm going to cut this to. So 8 centimetres by 4 and then I'm going to score it in the middle at two centimetres just to make like a kind of little topper for our tea bags. And then that is then going to sit on there like that, which again, great because you can make your own custom packaging and stuff so I'm just going to quickly glue that on okay just like that sweet and then using the time for tea set I'm going to stamp the little cup and I'm going to cut it out and we're just going to stick it somewhere on here so I've got a scrap piece of very vanilla I've got the stamp and I've got some sauce uh, daffodil delight My little cup. I've got the matching framelits as well, so that cuts the little cup out. Whoopsie, I've just dropped everything. So I will quickly cut this out, just give me a second. I've just got the big shot here. I don't want to bring it over and risk melting it with the tool.
So there's our little cup. And I think what I'm going to do is I might just pop it on there like that. I could pop that on with some dimensionals. And I mean, there's actually lots you can do with the fuse, but that is what it's intended for. It's like melting and fusing plastic together, which you don't just have to do scrapbook and photo pocket things like I'm doing here. You can make your own custom little treat bags. You know, that would make a lovely little gift. Even if you saw that in a shop, I mean, it does look very professional because it's all been sealed together. So there we go. It is it is really easy to use. You've just got to have a little play, uh, play around with it and see what you can come up with. But I really like the idea of the little sweet bags and the cute little shaker tags. Especially this one. I love this one. So I'm going to have a play around a bit more with it. And I'll be back again with no doubt some more tutorials and also some more stuff about what we can do with our little fuse tool here. So yeah, so thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.